It's that guy, not locks, not nation. Welcome to the show. Today's is dread episode. We talking about why you should get locks. A big question that falls upon a lot of inspired dreadheads out there to be, and essentially, you know, I got a few reasons of my own. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to hear my reasons, but specifically, I want to see what other people are saying on YouTube about why you should get locks. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Nation. Welcome to the show. Smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and if you don't, be prepared to get lice in your dreads. <laughs> Anyways, I am. Um, Doing a video today on why you should get locks. I'm realizing that I want to answer a lot more whys about locks in general, opposed to just doing reviews on people. More so, less of the who and more of the why. And today, I'm wondering why should people have locks? You know, for one reason, on myself here, my big why is to boost your self confidence. You know, another one would be. To be accepting of myself and for who I am organically, but let's see what other people are talking about here today, shall we? On on the interwebs, so you know we got a lot of people that pop up with reasons why you should get locks, and I'm gonna click on Twanzi first. Two minutes, of, two months Yo, ago. This, one's game, you know, name is this video was uploaded. Dread video coming, you know what I'm saying? I had to drop a dread video for y'all because y'all been asking for it. And Dread videos getting the most love, so I'm like, why not just do another one too? Just do all Dread videos, man. Dreadheads are here supporting this community big time. If you got locks, make lock videos, and people are gonna Today's watch video, them. I'm gonna tell y'all five reasons you, you watching, should get dreads. Whether if you're a dog, a cat, a cow, female, a male, it don't matter who you is, you can get dreads. If you got short hair or long hair, it don't matter. Some of these reasons is my opinion on why I got dreads also. Don't be hurt if I don't say like, the smartest thing you know i'm just going based off what i think why you should get person personal experience gotcha bro dreads and why i basically got dreads reason number one why you should get dreads these not in order by the way so don't don't think like damn order these not in order but reason number one off the top of the dome you could style it like you could you could braid your dreads you could put in the ponytail if you want to you could just wake up shake your hair and just go you can do whatever you want with it you can Reason number one, you can style them however you want. This is what he's essentially getting at here. And meaning, you know, even if you have free forms or twisted locks, interlocks, once they get longer, you can put them back, you can put them up, you can braid them. There's a whole lot you can do in terms of styling. Even though it's one dedicated style, you can style them in many different ways. You can ways. put a bun over here. You can put a bun right here. You can put a bun back here. You can put all your hair to the side, to this side, the back side, the front side. You can cut it off. No, I'm playing. You can't cut it off. Don't cut off your dress, bro. Don't, don't cut your hair. And unless you're cutting them off to put them back on again a year later. Bro, you can always style your hair. Like, whatever way you want to. Like, and your hair, by the time you have a dress where you can style them, they long enough to the point where you can do anything to them. What goes along with styling is dyeing your hair. If you dye your hair and then like you style it with it, it's OV. Like, you're in the game. Chill, I need to comb, I mean brush my. So we see that he's obviously doing the twisted interlock, uh, the twisted method. I don't personally agree. I mean, dyeing is part of the styling. Hair, uh, that white stuff is like gel that hasn't dried up yet. You should always, I recommend dyeing your hair when you've been in the game for too long. It's like. Yo, here's just who just wants regular dark brown hair, black hair. I s Organic Nazi people want their regular hair. That's what I feel. Take dye your hair, do some styles with it, and yeah, and then like braid it or something, cause like it give it a different, it give you a different look. Every day you can have a different look. Me personally, I usually just have my hair up in a bun, or I just leave it down. But I'm finna start, like I'm really finna start styling my hair. I'm gonna look at some videos how to do these hairstyles, and once I get it down. So number three is you can braid it. Still part of number one. It's still in the styling side of it's things. It's OVE. Reason number two. If you are lazy with your hair, like you saying it's too much work, it's not. All you gotta do, you could, if you like real lazy, like some days you just don't be feeling like doing your hair, get some dreads. Get some dreads because. So reason number two, number one for him is styling. Number two is it's a wake up and go type look. No maintenance. 
Well, not like this, because I just... Low maintenance. Retwist my hair. Every time I just retwist my hair, they just go, like, outwards and stuff. But yeah, you can just wake up, shake your hair, put a little oil in it, put some oil in it, go like that. And then you can just go. Reason number four. DSC, you wear... Bro, I ain't really gonna grow this one. But you get to see your hair... Hairline. See my... I, like, actually get to... When you have dreads, your hair get long. Like, really long. To the point where you can really see your hair, like... Bro, this came off my head. This sounds like so dumb. This sounds crazy. I don't even... <laughs> Reason number three is the length that you can get. If you always wanted to have long hair, locks is the way to do it by attaining some great dreadlock length. Guys, and I don't know about girls, this really goes to the guys. Bro, if you're not getting haircuts every two weeks or every week, get dreads. What are you doing? You need something to cover up your hairline like 24 7. Just like, not to make fun of the people that don't be getting haircuts, but, like, it'd be some people that don't get haircuts for, like, months. Bro, all you gotta do is just twist your hair, and then it's gonna dread up. So, reason number four is to stop having to go to the barber? I'm a big fan of that one. I don't like going to the I barber. Could too. That's only if you, like, really look hard at me, like, my hair. Because if I ain't got no haircut, I usually have it down until I have a haircut. Yeah, that's the fourth reason. You gotta have a... It's a secret, bro. Like, you gotta have a dread secret, man. Like, so... Like getting a haircut, unless you're trying to get like this lined up part here, but that's it. But most people that have half full set of dreads, full head of dreads, they don't do it. Like I wouldn't even get a haircut. Like it's... dreads are the easiest hairstyles to maintain. All you have to do, wash your hair. Like when you feel like it's getting dirty, wash your hair, retwist it. That's it. For the free formers, wash it. Cold water, rinse it, air dry it, that's it. So his reasons being more so on the side of styling, he's not really talking too much spiritual reasons or personal development reasons. Maybe somebody else here we might find. Here we go. What's going on? Dreads and Kush. Dreads and Kush is talking about three reasons why you should get dreadlocks. Let's see what his reason is. YouTube, I'm fucking smack right now, bro. It's your boy Dreads and Kush, head ass. <laughs> anyway, you got done. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all the three reasons why y'all should get dreadlocks, man. Got down. The first reason is for the convenience. Like, what I like, I'm using the word different. Like, how I see it, it's like, it always stands out. It's always a fucking style. Like, you can put that shit in a ponytail and people be like, damn, like, they admire your hair and shit. Like, they like the way your hair look, just how it is, 24-7 type shit, like. Convenience. Big reason is this one, is convenience. They are very convenient to have. People compliment you and shit, be like, oh, your hair look good and shit. You be like, shit, I woke up like this type shit, head ass. But anyway, you got, um, it stand out, man. The styles, it's just convenient as hell, man. Like, uh, the second reason, head ass, is because it's less maintenance, like. Head ass, it's less maintenance big reason almost the same sort of reasons uh first dude has come up this with. is really like a preference because some people like when they got when you get dreadlocks like you'd be like damn bro i gotta retwist this shit or i gotta do this tied up i gotta put oil in it like some people look at that like a lot of maintenance but like versus getting your hair cut every two weeks and like brushing your hair every second in the classroom and shit like that's a lot of maintenance so like it, it is true it is less maintenance than regular hair just seems more daunting but in reality, it's not even that much. Just how you view, like, maintenance, head ass. That, um... Head ass! I fucking dropped my keys and shit. Fuck that shit. But it's just how you view that shit, man. Less maintenance, man. Less fucking maintenance for me. I ain't gotta do shit but retwist this shit when I feel like it and just keep it moist, bro. Like, I can style this shit, put it up, do whatever I want, man. But the third reason, bro, and, like, this is, like, a real good fucking reason, is the fucking... Damn, I fucking blinked out. How this fuck? You want to got down? You want your hair to grow longer, bro? Every the length. He's talking about the length as well. For Everybody, reason. a lot of like females and shit who get dreadlocks is because they shit can't get like past their back and shit. Like if you get dreadlocks, your hair gonna grow long as fuck regardless. I don't care. Because instead of shedding the loose hairs, they're retained in the lock. So you're losing a lot less hair to the ground, and you're retaining it in your length. Good reasonings, my dude. 
I like these top three reasons. Boom shakalaka. Let's see another one here. A lot more people saying why you shouldn't get dreads. Right, let's see what this chick is saying here. She says 10 reasons to get dreads and it seems like she's got some epic freeform locks. Laura Fruit Fairy. What do you got to say? Hi guys. In today's video I'm going to talk about reasons why you should get dreads because in my last video I was kind of negative about dreads because I am currently in the process of brushing out my dreadlock. Oh, boo. So apparently there are some obvious reasons against dreadlocks, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it, right? But there are also a lot of advantages of dreadlocks, I and mean, dreadlocks are a lot of fun, and I really, as I said in the last video, I recommend it to everyone to at least try it once, like have one dreadlock or something like that, because... I agree with that, at least try dreadlocks once in your life. It's always worth a shot. They can really be fun. Uh, so I'm going to give you a few reasons why dreadlocks are really amazing and you should definitely, definitely get one or two or get your whole head done at least at some stage. Try it out. <laughs> Number one, which is for me the best thing about dreadlocks, you don't have to wash them so often. So often, it's true. I thought she was going to say you don't have to wash them. So often is correct. You don't have to wash them as often as regular hair. And honestly, you don't even need to wash regular hair as often as people do. So this is kind of like a stereotype amongst hair in general. Is that you don't need to wash it every day, you know. Once a week is fine. Like, yeah, I just came out of the shower. That's why my hair is wet. But as you can see, I only washed my fringe and I did not wash the rest of my hair. Basically just because my head has gotten so used to being washed only once a week. I mean, in the beginning it was a little bit difficult because it was a little bit itchy. Not rough and I felt like washing my hair because my head just didn't feel nice. But now I can mm. go for at least one week without feeling a difference between the second day after washing my hair and the seventh day after washing my hair. So that's really amazing. And also I'm going to continue this pattern because yeah my the rest and yeah I mean you don't have to run around with the wet hair so often anymore. The second reason is that they feel really really nice. I really like the feeling of dreadlocks and uh, they feel nice. In my eyes, it's like a fascination. You know, you want to have things that you're fascinated by. You know, the feeling of them, the texture of them is one of the reasons it's like, wow, this is grown from my head. Like the first dude said, you know, it's like it's an amazing fe feature. So for me, like that's going to count as fascination. They're very fascinating to have, to look at, to grow, be on the journey of dreadlocks. They just make me so happy to touch them. They're really fun. <laughs> yeah, that's... They're really fun. It's a fun journey, you know? They change over time, they become thicker, the consistency, the, the feeling changes. That's really nice. <laughs> Number three, you can put a lot of really cool stuff in your hair. This goes down to the styling once again. Like I have, I think I have a bell somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> that would be annoying for me. I, mean, I cannot have things jingling in my hair. <laughs> I have this. That's cool though. Wrapping it up in hemp string. It's a nice style. And it is true though. You can actually put anything in your dreads for a style. You could put a, a piercing, like an earring or a septum ring in there. You could put thread. You could put a bell. You could put clasps, beads, jewels, glass. animals and items and I don't know people have a lot of really cool stuff for me I just uh, never really did that because like in the beginning <laughs> when I got my dreadlocks I put like 30 different pearls in my hair and I really looked ridiculous really ridiculous so um, yeah in the beginning it's really fun and you tend to overdo it but after a while you know I'm an adult and <laughs> I have to look professional sometimes when you work in an office or like you know there are those kinds of events where you kind of don't want to look that ridiculous <laughs> Hey, dreadlocks can look professional. Who have natural cut. <laughs> but yeah, it's different, definitely really fun and really cool to put a lot of cute stuff in your head. The fourth reason is, especially for people like me, who have natural curls, and uh, as you might know, if you have curls, you know that curls are not so easy to take care of. If you have dreadlocks, you get up in the morning and you're done. <laughs> yes. Wash and go. Wake up and go. I agree with this. Put it up in a bun. You're easy. That's it. Let's try and move ahead here. And that's it. <laughs> you 
you see, I didn't have to use a hairband or anything to do this hairstyle. I could simply take two dreads and wrap them around and make a knot on top of my hair and it's done. And <laughs> it looks really nice, I think. So yeah, yeah, I like that. Whenever you, for example, play but yeah, I think it's the sixth reason, is that it looks really cool. It looks really wild. It does look wild. It looks organic. It's to be natty. Having dreadlocks, one of the main reasons is to be natural. Going back to our roots. Going back to our natural roots. Um, big, big thing. Um, we watched this video before. Why you, why you should have dreadlocks. And she was talking about like spirituality reasons. You know, be more connected to source. Um, and real quick, let's look at Melanie Rebirth. What's up? How's it going, everybody? My name is Melanie Rebirth, and in this video, I want to talk about why you should get dreads if something is calling you to um, go ahead and lock your hair, why you should do it. So I'm going to um, do my best to keep this video short and sweet and simple and straight to the point. And with that being said, let's get into it. So um, a little background off of my experience with getting dreads and why you should get it. So the first thing is it's low maintenance. Low maintenance being the number one thing here. Let's see what we also got. With um, with yourself, with who you are, seeing your natural self, it's something about, you know, as the days progress, going to the mirror and looking at your hair and looking at the development and the process of it, that's very humbling. And it kind of reminds you to see the beauty in yourself. And seeing the beauty in yourself, it, allow, it opens up a, an image of yourself that is natural and only you can appreciate. Playlist, I'll leave a link down below, but it allows you to be more in tune with who you are as far as um, receiving information or knowledge from um, the universe or the cosmic energies. Um, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure you heard the saying like, your hair is your antenna. Yes, so this is, this is more on the spiritual side of things. It helps you get, it can help you get more connected to source, to who you are, where you come from, learning about your history, your past, you know, so it can be really important to have locks just to understand yourself and your and your heritage a bit more. It, some people do use the comb to get the root and get all the hair in the dreads, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, going through daily and combing out your hair and pulling out that hair. It's actually better to have your hair sit there. Um, and even the quote unquote dead hair that falls out, it will of course fall into your locks. So um, I can make another video talking about how to detox your locks and dreadlocks. Of course, um, you know, some may argue that weave has was actually invented by uh, Africans like um, because, you know, it's a trend for rappers and I guess what they call hood or thug people to get dreads. But there's also a lot of benefits that come from having dreads. So this pretty much concludes my video on why you should get dreads. Oh, yeah. And another reason is if you're going on your spiritual journey and you want to know more about spirituality and get more in tune with yourself, kind of like what I stated earlier in the video, then uh, by all means, make sure to get your dread, uh, get your hair locked. Now, um, I will be making a follow-up video talking about why you shouldn't get dreads because I know some people just aren't patient and some people don't. And that's actually a big thing you mentioned there too. I'm gonna hit you up with the subscribe there, Melanin. Um, the amount of patience that it teaches is amazing. It's actually one of the biggest reasons to get dreads to get dreadlocks is to is to understand how patient you are as a human being and your self development. When you're able, especially, to take on a freeform route and let the universe take on the natural process of your hair locking up, it takes a long time, and you have to be patient for it to get there. You know. And when you get locked in an impatient manner, meaning you go to a loctician, you spend the hundreds of dollars and you put on interlocks or retwists right away, you're taking away from the journey. You're not truly able to ride through and gain everything that there is to be gained from growing locks. And patience is one of those virtues that you can gain. Self-acceptance is another virtue that you can gain. And freedom of expression. You know, that's probably the, one of the big three reasons of why you should get locks. I can also add on there to be rebellious, to have locks, to go against the system, um, and also just to be yourself, just to be fully accepting of who you are. And I feel like it's, it's the, one of the truest and the most strengthening things that you can do with yourself. So that's, that's essentially uh, what I wanted to talk about today in this video, and I appreciate everyone that's made the videos that I've looked at here on YouTube. 
It's always amazing to get smaller channels some exposure. Maybe go check out their videos as well if you haven't been to their channels before. Uh, and of course, leave me a comment down below on why you should get locked. Tell me a reason why. If you were talking to somebody that is thinking about it or doesn't have blocks, what would your number one thing be to say to them on why you should get them? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm gonna sign off. I appreciate you guys stopping by here each and every day. Stay dedicated. Until then, peace out, one love, and I'll see you in the next episode. I'm God. Adios. The